Let's hear it for our host country, the United States of America! Did you know that three of the five oldest rivers in the world flow here in the U.S.? The New River, the Susquehanna, the French Broad Rivers are each hundreds of millions of years old. Oh, I didn't know that. A lot of rivers, a lot of history here. Lots of teams from the USA playing here. The current U.S. flag, which you see being proudly carried by many of these teams, was actually designed as a school project. Robert G. Heck designed the flag his junior year of high school, but he only received a B- minus for it. That's a tough grading scale. Tough grading You know, scale. we seem to think that English is our official language, but it's really the national language. Did you know that the United States doesn't actually have an official language? I did not know that. We've got a ton of teams coming here. It looks like almost all 50 states represented. Wow. Uh, there's a lot of girl power. Lots of girl power as well. I'm a personal big fan of the Uncle Sam outfits right oh, there. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Amanda, did you know that something that Vex Worlds would not be able to live without, the internet, was actually invented right here in the United States? I didn't know that. That. Actually, right here in Kentucky. On in this podium. Kentucky. That's not actually true. Oh, my goodness. Hi, guys. Oh, thank you so much. Grant. Oh, my goodness. From Hawaii. Thank you, thank you guys. Thank you. thank you. Hawaii in the building. It's so great to see so many teams from so many different parts of the world. Teams are ready. Rep is ready. Three, two, one, go. And with just a minute, we have Team 88299B, Science Museum 2 of Beijing, China. And we have Team 15294B, Eagle Boss Blue from Indiana. We have Eagle Boss Blue. They have already filled up the square building zone and are going for the second tier. Science Museum 2 with a bonus hub in the second tier, which is worth four points instead of two. We have 20 seconds left in this match. This field is almost clear. There are three hubs left, and they grabbed that last bonus hub for a third tier. They are gonna precisely put it on there, and they got it. One more hub is left with 10 seconds. 10 more seconds. Eight, seven, six, five. Are they gonna go for the climb? They are hooked. Are they up? They are up one second, and they got the clock! Oh my god! That was an amazing match! Absolutely beautiful! They completely floored and cleared the floor! Let's see what this score is. The score to beat is 36. And we have a score of 40! That is the score to beat. They are the number one ranked team right now. And we are gonna see if Finals Match 10 can top that. A score of 40. Amazing, absolutely amazing. We're now down to our final award, the Division Teamwork Challenge Champion. The Division Teamwork Challenge Champion Award is presented to the two-team alliance that earned the highest score in the Teamwork Challenge Finals matches. We see them with a score of 40. The Division Teamwork Challenge Champion is presented to Team 88299B Science Museum 2 of Youth Science and Technology of Beijing Jiqing from Beijing, China and Team 15294B Eagle Bots Blue of Woodview Elementary in Napanay, Indiana. Congratulations.
referees. We're starting this match in three, two, one, go. You saw them do it before. They cleared the field. Let's cheer them on as they try to do it again. It's brand new. It's 0-0 zero, zero for both of these teams. A previous score doesn't help them at all. All we know is one team is taking first place. The other is taking second. All right. So far, we've got four in the square building zone. Time to switch those drivers. And we've got one, two, three, four, plus the bonus hub up. One bonus up, up, up high. Second one, up high. One, two, three. Oh, look at the clock. Look at the clock. Now, what time will those go down? And there we go. Whoa. Wow. Amazing. All right. So we're going to tabulate their scores. place tournament champions 80 20 a and 15 294 a the eagle bots out of napanee indiana and bestie one out of shanghai china with a score of 40 in their last match So it's time to meet the division champions and wildcard alliances that will be competing today for that world title. Are you guys ready to meet your alliances? All right. Then let's get ready to start it off with the sixth ranked division from the elementary school side. It's your Chandra wildcards. Team 8020A. Ace H Bestic One and their partner, 15294A, the Eagle Bots Red. We're joined from Beijing, China by Team 88299B Science Museum 2 and their partner from Napanee, Indiana. 15294B, the Eagle Bots Blue. Welcome to the Northrop Grumman Field one more time, and we have our first elementary school up to play here. It's the Chandra Division Wild Card. Let's first introduce the teams. First up, make some noise for Team 8020A from Shanghai, China, SH Bestic One. And their partners are Team 14294A from Napanee, Indiana, Eagle Bots Red. Vex Nation, it's been a long two days. But, Freedom All, I know you can make some noise with me. Help me count this down. Our match begins in three, two, one, go! 60 seconds on the clock. They are underway. One chance, one minute. Welcome to the showtime in prime time. 50 seconds remaining on the clock. They're going to go ahead and grab the bonus up. One team coming up top already with a second level orange up. That's going to be courtesy of H SH Bestic One. And Eagle Bots also bringing into the corner. 35 seconds left to go. Driver's got to switch before the 25 second mark. Bonus up is up. 
And good for the team from SH Backstick of Shanghai, China. Their partners, Eagle Boss Red, with a second level orange up on the scoring corner closest to our screen. 20 seconds remaining. Third level bonus up, up and good. Can they clean the house? 10 seconds left. Yes, they can. 10 seconds left. Can they get upstairs? Five seconds left. That is the buzzer. Welcome to the VIX World Championship Finals. Amanda and Paul, it's back to you. Uh, Amanda, uh, that was the wild card. That was insane. The wild card. <laughs> um, all right, look. This is going to be an insane evening. You guys better buckle up. There's going to be tiebreakers. I'm calling it right now, Amanda. Absolutely. I mean, what, what did you see there? Like, I, I got all kinds of things to say, but I want to hear from you first. You know, I think my favorite part was at the end. They took the orange hub from them and placed it. They both made it back in time. It got really dicey on that hang. They got very close, but managed to make it with only five seconds left. Yeah, look, what everybody's going to see here, the very predominant design, the kids found out and figured out very quickly that they can uh, drag the, the, the dragging the hubs across right. the little bumps there right. was much, much easier and faster. Absolutely. And they got these like little viper strikes. You're going to see those <laughs> everywhere, you know. Um, you're going to see those everywhere. But these guys, it's all about coordination. Yes. These are little kids, man. They're young. They're managing their stress. It's amazing. Hey, we have a score. Okay, you here we go. It? Let's see what they started off with. A 40. Uh, that, um, that threw a stake in the ground. All right, thank you, Paul. I'm here on Toyota with the Hubble Division champion. They had a score of 40. Let's see if they can top it off. First up, we have 88299B. That's Science Museum 2 from Beijing, Beijing, China. Their alliance partners are 15294B, Eagle Box Blue. They're from Napanee, Indiana. All right, are you guys ready? I said, are you guys ready? All right, let's kick things off in three, two, one, go! All right, these kids are pro. They're calm, cool, and collected over here. Their lights mean nothing to them. They're just focused on their robots. We are 10 seconds into this match. They've dragged a bunch of hubs over from the other side of the field. We're currently standing with six low-scored hubs, one high-scored hub, and one high-scored bonus hub. 36 seconds left in this match. The remaining hubs have made their way from the other side of the field over to the build zone. Science Museum 2 adds an additional two low-scoring hubs. 24 seconds left in this match. The bonus hub is still on the structure. We'll have to see if they go back to get it later. 17 seconds left in this match. The bonus hub has been knocked off of the structure. We have 10 seconds left. Let's see if they have enough time. Our pyramid gets knocked over. Six seconds left in this match. It looks like our robots are going to go to hang. We have one connected. We have one at a time. My goodness, but that was impressive. All right, Paul, Amanda, I know you know how hard it is to be down here, so tell us what you thought about this match. I'm representing Indiana with my Eagle Bots blue headband. Uh, look, the coordination, it's so timing, precision-based, mm -hmm. like one small error kind of compounds. Unfortunately, yes, but these kids are under so much pressure. How many matches do you think they practice to get it just Right. Oh, so many. so many. So many. And it's really important to remember the amount of effort they put in. So. Yeah. I want to talk a little bit about Indiana just for a moment. Indiana, the state of Indiana really embraced Vex IQ and, and made a mandate they were going to put robotics in all of their elementary and middle schools. Did. And uh, you can actually see the results with these more and more Indiana teams showing up at the top of the rankings, mm -hmm. which is an indication of the vast network of teams that they have growing and really learning from this program. So we have a score. Uh, again, this is uh, elementary school. Let's take a look at the score. 25 points. Very respectable. Yeah. Look, it, it wins most regional events Absolutely. throughout the US. 
Elementary has their robot skills champion. They have their teamwork challenge champion. And now, to, ele uh, to announce our excellence awards for elementary school, here's Dan Matz. Did y'all have a good time? Y'all coming back next year? Fantastic. The Elementary School Excellence Award is given to the top overall elementary school team. This is actually an organizational award. It goes to the entire organization. It is the highest honor given out in VEX IQ Challenge Robotics Competition. The recipient of this award is a team that exemplifies overall excellence in creating a high quality VEX IQ Challenge Robotics program. This team excels in many areas and is a shining example of dedication, devotion, hard work, and teamwork. As a strong contender in numerous award categories, this team deserved to be recognized for building a quality robotics program and a team committed to the quality in everything that they do. The Elementary School Excellence Award goes to Team 15294 from Napanee, Indiana. Congratulations to our Excellence Award winners.